Shiloh Jobs is an employment agency for the poor. The focus of what we do is very closely um, working to help people get into the, uh, the job market. To get a job, you need to fill out an application form that tells quite a bit about yourself. Many of our applicants live in they might live in a shelter, they might be living with friends, they might be living in some kind of temporary housing, and people are shy about that. They don't necessarily want to, for people to know that about them, but we have to know, you know that, that much information. So we've gone through this whole array of very personal questions of where do you live, uh, your children, um, did you drop out of school? Why did you drop out of school? Did you go to prison? Why were you in prison? Did you struggle with drugs? Are you in recovery? All these questions that are very intimate kinds of questions. It is a, it's a trust that people will answer those questions because they so need a job and they trust us to actually be able to help them find a job. I wish that I thought people came to the first step with us was because we are so caring and we are such lovely people and we want to help them, but that isn't why they come. They come because <laughs> they have heard that you can actually get a job through this program. <laughs> so uh, as complimented as we might be, we have to face the fact that they didn't come because we're so great. They just came because they know someone that they knew actually got a job. I think for us it really goes back to how do you see really every human being. And um, we, one of the things that we say at the orientation is that everybody that comes to Jubilee Jobs, and I believe actually everybody, has what we call a core of goodness. And so whatever you may have done in the past, whatever mistakes or bad breaks or unfairness or all the kinds of things that people live with, even with all of that, there still is that core of goodness within each person. And so, no matter who or what the person has done or who they are, that's the, that's the way in which we visit with them. I do think that when you talk about trust, I think if you start from that premise, rather than, I want to find out all the things that are going to hold you back, um, I do think that people relax a little bit, you know, if they feel like you're looking for their good quality. And the truth of the matter is, we've been around for so long, 30 years, and we've seen probably maybe 50,000 people in, in those 30 years. And actually, we've never had anybody that I would call a bad applicant. I feel that our society is missing out on this huge potential and capacity that people have by not giving people a chance. I feel that um, for example, the ex-offender community, which is an enormous community, and about half of our applicants are ex-offenders, and there is a, a, a capacity, an intelligence, a willingness, and an ability in each one of those persons, and, and we make it very difficult for them to find uh, a foothold in the society. It's a very touching experience for me, and one of the things that I do and that I value the most is to be a job counselor at Jibwe Jeff. So I have, I always have a few applicants that I'm working with too. And that's really the best part of the job is to actually work with an applicant and help them then get into the job market.